Hello everybody, welcome to my weird wonderful world and I just finished a drawing for a friend of, at work it, It's actually a, a gift for her, for her boyfriend. It's he has no idea it's being done I wanted to keep it a secret and, and she agreed that it'd be a nice little surprise for him and the picture I did is of his van he owns he owns a kind of a cool ram van and uh, and she wanted the uh she she gave me some images to use as references and it's all hand drawn every every part of it now people might think oh you traced it well first of all it's on bristol board it's kind of hard to trace and where i get my line work to try to get them perfect is i have a set of french curves that I bought specifically actually to do this drawing and and a subsequent drawing it's all colored with pencil crayon and get a little bit closer so you can see some of that detail and it's not about the close-up detail this picture is not really meant to be seen looked at really close up you're supposed to be like at least at least three feet away from it to get the, the best effect of it but it's all colored with pencil crayon I use only marker black marker for the black but not even in the but only mostly for the tie most of the background tires some of the other black is from pencil crayon but some of that black is marker this black here for the design on the front is actually pencil crayon it's not done with uh, marker but the the ram sign has is is it's done with marker and all the other colors is uh it's it's uh it's pencil crayon except for some of the the dotting i did for the shrubbery in the back like the you see you see here for the green part yeah i used the, i used the green marker and kind of dotted all those leaves in there to give it a little bit more of a consistent look but that is a picture i did it took me maybe about Two weeks off and on but maybe all together about about six man hours total I just finished it today because I'm going to be leaving to work in about an hour and a half from now and yeah I want she gave me permission to uh, show you online so here it is the last picture I drew so far I have a couple of more pictures I'm planning on doing and once I'm done those pictures I'm going to show you the results of those and eventually eventually when I have a chance I want to try to get a way of uh, a way of showing you the process of my artwork and how I draw and stuff to give you like some art instructions and stuff here and there but that might not be for a little while I still want another computer I want to get a cool uh, Basically, I want to get a GoPro that I can actually hook up to my head so when I'm looking down at my drawing and my process, I, I can show you real time of what, I'm, of what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. I'm sure she's going to love it. I really like the way it came out. Now, I wanted to add the red into the eyes of the ram because I thought it was a little cool. I was going to put a groovy little tongue coming down, a little red tongue, but I ended up not doing it. And just stuck with just putting some red in the eyes because those are not normally there. But I wanted to give the the picture just a little tiny bit of a you know a tiny bit of a demonic look to it. But yeah, and I asked her I asked her too if if I could change it up if it has to be those colors now. And she says, "Oh yeah." And then I actually had a chance one time to see this van in person. So I had I was able to get a, a better reference to it. Well, I'll I'll give it a little closer look here to you guys so you can see some of the detail. Now I kind of did a mistake, like a little flub with like when I was trying to make the line here, it kind of the line kind of went off. So I tried to go over it a little bit with the liquid paper, and as you can see, also you might be able to see it here. The white, the white that's on the ram thing is a little whiter than what's on the uh, on on the van itself because I just took all I did was just I rubbed out some uh, I rubbed out some black 
right from black pencil crayon and smudged my finger on it and and basically smudged my finger over it just to give it a little bit of a more realistic look so that the van is not completely super white they add just a tiny bit of realism and that way there i could get those white lines to show up a little bit more across the van for the indentation yeah i try i put as much care as i could with it and and yeah and like for the sky for example like i didn't i i i made sure i didn't forget to put the aerial or the or the spoiler in the back you know i, I wanted to give it all the detail that i could but it's not to be scrutinized too closely yeah for the for the blue of the sky is uh with the pencil crayon is little circles little circles they try to keep the consistency going as you can see for the mopar the darker blue is mostly straight lines like coloring it in straight 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 but for the sky yeah i wanted to i wanted to do little circles everywhere to give it just a bit more consistency so it doesn't so you don't actually see the streaking of the pencil crayon as much as possible and yeah i hope it turned like i, I love how it turned out i think it, i think it's fantastic so that's it for this little video i just want to show you this and and talk about it a tiny bit so as always please be safe take care I will see you on the flip side, and please have a great day, evening, night, wherever you may be. I'm still wearing my drawing glasses, These just to magnify them a little bit more. Peace, everybody.